Listen, sometimes you got to stand against the grain and say what's really the truth. Some people ain't going to like it. Some people going to run from it. But you know what? We got to be honest. And sometimes when you can't be honest, you need to be fucking real. This is we can't be honest. Let's be fucking real podcasts. All right, and good afternoon, and welcome back. If we can't be honest, let's be fucking real podcast. And this your boy again, Big A. And to the left, I got my brother Evan. And at the bottom, my brother Tyler, one third of three Beauty King podcast. How y'all doing this this Sunday afternoon, gentlemen? We doing good. I know I'm I'm doing good. How you doing, Ty? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. (laughs) <laughs> have a good weekend. That's blessed. Good. It's Sunday, so I got to blessed. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Sunday, <laughs> but definitely it's the lowest day. But we definitely got to get stupid. <laughs> but shoot, but yeah, I was saying, I'm glad everybody doing good. But shoot, I was just trying to wonder. I know, have I know if you saying you've been on furlough and. I know I've been seeing on the news. Have you received any notice about the whole unemployment stuff ending? Because I was seeing that on the news about it ending Friday or this week. Oh, I, I, as as being furloughed, you do the unemployment every week, mm-hmm. and with that, you see they put a notice out on the Tennessee website for unemployment that it was going to come to an end on the twenty fifth. Which has happened yesterday on a Saturday, mm-hmm. so um, that's as of now. It has been ceased now. For anybody else, they I think they put a note out there for anybody who has not filed yet for unemployment. Yet you were unemployed, maybe in uh, March, April, May time period. If you got your unemployment put in, and you went back and just did your weekly certifications leading up, you could get back pay for the time period you've been unemployed and you did not file. But I'm assuming most people have already went through that process and filed for unemployment, eventually got it, and filed their weekly certifications. So to anybody that has not done that, uh, if if you did that Saturday and any day prior, you could possibly be receiving some back pay. But uh yeah, no no other news from that, you know. That just gonna cease and I gotta find I gotta make some money some other way. Man, I understand. Yeah, that's what kind of what the topic is for this week episode is you know, how to make money during the Rona and where the fuck is the money. And I know they was supposed to be talking about that a second stimulus check is supposed to be hitting next next week. And I just want to know y'all opinion on it because I feel like with this second stimulus check, it don't need to be two. It don't need to be twelve hundred. It need to be a little bit more because, like you said, people hurt and then they gonna end this unemployment stuff for people who are already, you know, kind of in a bad place. It need to be a lot more just to sustain until they can either get a labor job or whatever company they work for make a decision to bring people back or let you see. And try to go forward. What the go- What's y'all opinion on this? What the thing? government messed up at on the second stimulus check? What, what, what is twelve hundred dollars? That's nothing. That's that's groceries. That's groceries for the month. That's not even your rent. That's nothing. That's not. That's barely gas. Like you'd have to stretch twelve hundred dollars, man. I like our. You know, I will say this: when I was around like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, probably all the way up until about twenty-one. Remember how we used to stretch like a few hundred bucks on a check? Like, but as an adult with kids, how the hell do you stretch that? There's a complete difference when you're on your when you're by yourself. Yeah. And you can like kind of just eat ramen every day. You can't just feed the kids ramen and shit. That's just that's just not feasible. The be- the the biggest thing with kids going back to school and stuff is a lot of kids will get at least two meals, you know, at least get two meals. They'll get breakfast and lunch at school. 
and then all you have to provide is dinner. Right now, it's people providing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hell, it's probably kids only still eating one meal at home because the parents aren't, we're not expecting that. They, you know, they've had to blow a lot of money. So once again, I say $1,200. Maybe you should give $1,200 as the start for each additional kid. You should probably add on another like $800 or something like that. And I think where the government really messed up at was when everybody received unemployment, this extra $600, I believe they should have given uh, anybody that was under making under $20 an hour an extra three to four hundred dollars and add it on to their check as well i think that would have made it more fair but twelve hundred but where do they get this number twelve hundred dollars from like you can't pay rent any like half the damn country even the cheapest of places you're going to be paying six seven hundred dollars for just rent so yeah. what are we well, do they said that, that they got qualified for it well they even said that they possibly did a breakdown or analyzing the budget of people and i don't know where the hell they got that amount from because like you said to your case in point, it twelve hundred dollars. If twelve hundred dollars is all your bills for you, or is living somewhere a little to no money, or you are by far the person on planet Earth, meaning you don't got no internet, cable, or whatever. And I ain't just saying cable, but internet. You know, you know, you car. You must if you got a car, you got a very old car. You gotta have insurance, and it's like twelve hundred dollars. And then, like I said, for anywhere decent. You paying at minimum a thousand. Like you got to be living like in the exactly. parts of the city. Let's be honest. Most people don't live in those, those are probably crime infested areas. And that's the thing. People in the projects live on more than twelve hundred dollars, and that's the lowest of the lowest <laughs> amount that you can spend on rent. Even like fixed income housing. You would still be struggling with twelve hundred dollars. That's, yeah. that's what's, what's minimum wage? Minimum wage is like seven seventy five, I think now. So how, how much more is that the minimum wage for the entire month? That's that's like less than minimum wage. I mean, if you don't have a job, that's that's absolutely nothing. Let me. I just want to say this: as as a government official, why don't they have them live on twelve hundred dollars for a month? Let them see how it is. Matter of fact, you can even double it. Give them twenty four hundred dollars and see how they live on that. I bet you can't do it. Because you can't pay you can't pay insurance. Insurance alone is fucking expensive. The majority of people that are unemployed don't have health insurance right now because COBRA is fucking expensive. Yeah, no. COBRA is stupid expensive. And then and then yeah. that's the thing that I was saying that I hate about the whole concept of having you have to pay for health care because if, if your health care is through your job but you get laid off, do you have health care? And then come next year, no. <laughs> They can technically say, well, because of the quarantine and your job, you weren't working. So technically, you didn't have insurance or health care. And technically, we got to penalize you because that's a part of your tax return, which I thought that was the most stupid shit you could ever do to somebody. You're going to fuck me on my all year. And then next year, when I'm supposed to get my money back, oh, we see you have insurance for the last two weeks. You're going to take a little, a little bit of your money. And I don't think that's right, y'all, because. Like I said, yeah. it should be free. It honestly, now, I, I mean, right now, like uh, for uh, for me and being in furlough status, as being furloughed, what they do is they they're as you're furloughed, you're still getting paid a little, a very small percentage of how much you get uh, paid, and with that, they're sending you the bill for your health insurance. So you still gotta you still gotta pay for it. So you're paying your health insurance through the check that you're receiving. Uh, so that is silly because they're not going ahead and say, you know what, you're going to get a portion of your money, but we're going to cover your health care, uh, your health coverage. They're like, nah, you still got to pay for it. We're just sending you some, some extra money on top of that. Uh, that's, that's silly, one. Two, uh, the statement about like the 1200 yeah, if you like single and you just got laid off and you been saving money, one check, a stimulus check, that that is not really meant for you. Now, with the stimulus check of uh one one thousand two hundred, they did the first time around. They did with uh additional what one thousand two hundred per child. Was that one thousand two hundred per child as well? So. I think it was six some six hundred or something like that, but 
Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I think it was less than that, but yeah, somewhere yeah, around okay. six hundred dollars. You got more per kid though. Yeah, I know it was five. It was five hundred per kid, up to four. Yeah, so it's five hundred per kid up to four. So, like you said, most households, oh, one thousand two hundred with kids, they ain't gonna help. If you if you a single mother, if you're a single mother and you got one thousand two hundred for you, and then you have like one or two kids. You got two thousand two two hundred for the first stimulus check. This time around, they are trying to debate about providing more money for the child for the stimulus check, but they're doing a lower limitation on how many children can you have. So I think the first time it was up to four. I think this time it's up to three. Uh, but they're they're trying to up the money. It doesn't matter because if you up the money only a small percentage. It's not still gonna help. Uh, really, I think per adult you need to be giving two thousand dollars, or do it like do it like uh do it like I UK honestly, UK or uh, in the European I'll they just do two thousand per per adult for the month. Like two people in the household, you both get two thousand dollars per month continuously until exactly. the pandemic over. Exactly. So okay, so I, I just feel like. I just feel like, like I'm okay. Like as of right now, I'm okay. Like you know, I'm pay I have enough money to pay my bills and whatnot. I I, I was lucky enough to not get furloughed or laid off or anything like that yet. And I, it just pisses me off that people have to struggle. You have to fucking choose between if you want health care, you want somewhere to live, or you want to eat. You can't have all three, which is fucking stupid. It's yeah. absolutely ridiculous that you have to choose. If your kids are going to eat every day or, like, if, God forbid, some ha a health crisis happens to them, you're just – shit, I look. People, and then you know, it's not even counting people that live off medication. You can't – you got to choose if you want to, like, if you can go without your medication. Yeah. And honestly, how high eat medication is, because the person who has to have medication, that shit get expensive. And and not just that, it's expensive per month because it ain't like they're gonna be like, okay, we're giving you 90 days worth of medication where you pay this 60, 80 a month. And then you gotta think about the older generation. If they on fixed income and they ain't got that much income, but they medicine, I ain't gonna lie, I can remember when my grandma my grandmother was alive, some of her medicine would literally be like a hundred some dollars. And think about it, she needs that to stay alive or to keep her health right. in order where she's not in the hospital. And it's like, that's one of them things. It's like, bro, health care should be free. Only time I feel like people should pay for health care if it's some bullshit you're trying to do, like you're trying to get your lips, ass done, the titties done, something like that. That shit that you, you don't need, but if you want to, it's your health care will cover some of it, but you got to pay for it. But if you need to be able to go to the hospital, get some cough medicine, and then we're dealing with a health crisis. You got to think about this is a health crisis, so you would think Insurance would be free. You think they would be like, uh, like it's, is it's it, the thing it is, is why don't we have you I, I swear, the stupidest debate that we have in America is universal health care. Every modernized society, every first world country that is worth the shit has universal health care. We you pay more in taxes, but at the end of the day, how, I mean that's worth it to me. I mean I spend like two hundred. I think I think out of my check it's like two hundred and fifty dollars every paycheck just for health insurance for my family. Shit's expensive as it is. Kid, I you mean, what's a, that, what's you another hundred something bucks for every? I, I would I would I'd rather spend an extra two hundred bucks a month on, on health care if everybody has it because I'm not fucking selfish. I think about other people. I, I wouldn't mind that. I could I could definitely be like, okay, they're gonna take another two hundred dollars every month. Or, or every paycheck, okay, that's fine. There, there's going to be kids and stuff that that don't have it like I do, or or their parents don't, or their parents aren't able to provide for them, but they'll have health care, or their parents will have health care, and that's something you know. Just having that kind of stress off your mind it makes your life that much easier, and, and that's the kind of thing I'm thinking about. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about these kids that don't have that kind of, that don't have health care, and they they can't even go play outside. They fall and break an arm. They're shit out of luck. You just mm -hmm. sit there with a, yeah. they got they got to just put their arm in a damn sling. I believe everybody. Robotussin and some some yeah, sticks. Like, I don't believe in that. I just that, that 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 shit just aggravates me. I, 
my son is taken care of, but I don't think that's fair that other people's kids are not taken care of. That's just how I feel. Yeah. That's that's facts, because like you said, though, man, like I said, we in a situation where everybody could do their share if the government wasn't so money hungry. And then, too, these pharmaceutical companies, right. they, they so money hungry where they be like, nah, we'll give you health care, but you is coming through your employer. I'm like, bro, just make that shit free for everybody. Like, let's be honest, like, people don't like going to the doctor anyway, but when you go to the doctor, you go to the doctor. It's like yeah. ain't nobody oh ain't nobody trying to scam the system. Be like, well man, I'm I'm finna use this, you know, this extra such and such to get I'm like nobody's trying to scam the healthcare industry. And if they if they are trying to scam the healthcare and, industry, and, and that's you, the thing. You gotta keep track of them. I mean, you're gonna keep track of them. How many times you went into the doctor in the yeah. last two months? You went in that mall like ten times. What do you have a health issue? Okay. People do scam. People do scam pharmaceuticals. I will say that when I they, the they pharmacy, scam. I used to see people rolling up in Escalades and Mercedes and stuff, and they would be on Ten Care, which is the Tennessee like the equivalent of free t- health care in Tennessee. It's usually for children, but you would see people riding up in like fifty and sixty thousand dollar vehicles. You're like, wait a minute, what the fuck are you getting? Hundreds of dollars in medication for free, but you got like a sixty thousand. Like, wait, a minute, I'm not. No, God damn it! Something ain't right. <laughs> I ain't a genius, but something ain't right. God damn it! They yeah, say hey. ours. Hey, hey, they they do scam. They do scam so they can get their medication for free. The thing is, you can keep track of how often an individual comes comes in to get a refill or yeah. tries to get some doses. You can you can track it. To the point that you you're like okay this I've seen this nigga in three different stores we just got his name in the system he's went to three different stores and he's in the last week trying to get the same meds yeah see see yeah something like that blatant I understand but just the average person not unless you yeah. like you said you addicted to opioids and you know they consider that a health crisis or health condition. Yeah. Because 30 years ago, crack cocaine was not considered a health or mental sickness. Let's just put that out there. But I can understand mm-hmm. people right. blaming <laughs> being done like that. But a motherfucker who, who got a cough, I got a whooping cough, and I'm just trying to get some, some syrup to help stop the whooping cough, that shit shouldn't be no $300 to do get that done. That's all I'm saying. Now... Granted, it's some people who got addictions and they do everything to get they they fix or whatever. You gotta track they ass and stop them doing from what they doing. But the average person just if you gotta go to the doctor, the average person wanna go to the doctor. But the average person hate going to the doctor because they know this is gonna be a shit ton of bills. You got a thirty, forty dollar copay. Then whatever uh, other thing you gotta get, that's gonna be another hundred dollars. And then let alone if you get double prescription, you might be looking at two hundred dollars. Oh no! Let me tell let me tell you about something that happened to me what two years ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, through this, I told my wife I ain't going to no doctor. She the one convinced me to go to the doctor. First time I'm going to a doctor, so I went to I I made I talked to one of the coworkers made an Indian dish. Mm-hmm. Went to an Indian store, got Indian spices, followed the instructions, kind of followed the instructions, made the Indian dish. Well, after like two oh, days like, of eating, you sound like you tell your booty hole, booty hole up, Evan. <laughs> I fucked myself up. So, uh, after Man, two shoot, days, shooting flamethrower at his ass, <laughs> <laughs> niggas, Charizard, just ah. <laughs> <so, laughs> but uh, pretty much, <laughs> I, I, I made the Indian dish, <laughs> ate it. And after like two days of eating it consecutively, because I made so much, and my wife liked it, my kids liked it, but I ate mo- uh, more than they did. Like something just didn't go right. <laughs> Shit, I was fucked up. I was fucked up. I was fucked up for like four days. I was fucked up from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I was taking on Monday. And I was like, babe, I I just can't fucking go to work. I'm I'm this fucked up. I can't go. And she was like, go t- go to the doctor. Go to the hospital, go somewhere. Because how do you feel? I said, I feel like someone decided they're going to take a metal bat 
and put a blade on the front end and just swing that bitch into my intestines and pull. And I'm, I couldn't drink nothing. I couldn't eat nothing. Like, I'm dry as hell. I'm like, fuck, I'm just gonna die in this bedroom. <laughs> she, was like, <laughs> she was like, okay, go to the hospital. I, I said, man, I shouldn't have to go to the hospital for this, but let me call, let me call my health sh- health uh, insurance provider to see is this necessary for me to go to like the minor med or do I go to the hospital? Because if they tell me, because I looked it up before I went, I was like, if they tell me to go to the hospital, then I shouldn't be charged for this. But if they tell me my ass should go to the minor med and I take my ass to the hospital, I'm going to get charged. They said, if you're having serious intestinal pains uh, and it's happened for longer than 24 hours, take yourself to the hospital because it could be extremely severe. I was in the hospital from 10 that morning until 7 that night. Damn. They they ran about five different tests on me. Nigga, I, they, they lit me up like a Thanksgiving turkey and put me through a CAT scan. First time ever in life. I was, I got hot as a mug on the inside. Put me through everything. And when I came out, they told me I had, uh, I had an infection on my intestines and everything. Yeah. So they gave me meds. They sent me home. They told me pick up the meds and everything. I took them. They t- gave me a letter to take two, three days off from work before going back because they don't know if this shit it was a virus that can spread or whatnot. So they just said take three days off. How come that sh- all that sh- should have been covered? I get a call saying, "Hey, you owe two thousand dollars." I said, "What the fuck, I owe two thousand dollars?" They said, "You got health care, right?" I said, "Yes." And they were like, uh, the healthcare provider also said that they, they're not going to pay all of it. They paid a portion. They're not going to pay all of it. I said, you telling me I owe $2,000 and this is my first time going to the hospital ever in my life? Mm. This. I ain't paying it. That shit. Shit day, I ain't paying it. Two years later, I ain't paid it. <laughs> I ain't paid it. I, I've literally for two <laughs> years had to go back and forth between the hospital the healthcare provider that I don't even have anymore. I have a different healthcare provider, and I had to go back and forth for two years to get them to understand that if it was severe enough that you paid the hospital bill, you should be paying the pharmaceutical company and the doctor as well. You pay for the equipment in the state, but you didn't pay for anything else. Man, I ain't gonna lie though, man. Them hospital bills, that's why I say if I get sick enough, like my thing is if I can't shit or throw it up yeah, I, and I gotta go to the hospital, I dread that shit. If it's something I can shit or throw up, I tend to just drink some wine and go lay down and I'm straight at the next day. Because I hate going to the motherfucking hospital. So, I mean, last time I went to the hospital, I was in a car wreck. Man, you know how fucking expensive them bills were? And I was in the emergency room portion of it. It's already, I got a total car, my wife car total. I, I almost and then crazy part, I almost lost my fucking life because I hit the wall. Like I ran straight into the wall. Man, I'm talking about I on top of that, I got to deal with it. She done lost her brand new car. And I'm in the emergency room. And then they gave me all kind of I had cold in. Bro, I was so fucking high from them pills that it I that's why I said codeine, I can see how people get addicted to that shit. Cause I'm a big dude. I'm like four hundred pounds socks. <laughs> That shit had me like, bro, I can't take that. I can't do this. But don't you know how expensive that shit was? I'm talking about, they looking at, I'm looking at like three, four thousand. And I'm like, bro, I shouldn't have to pay this shit. Because for one, I, I, the person ran into me. And then that motherfucker didn't have a liquor insurance, too. And then she just looking at me like, huh. and then it, the funniest shit in the world, oh, the white lady opened the door. And the lady started pointing at the lady. She's like, it was her fault. She did it. And I'm like this. I'm like, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, I hate that shit. Like that's why, she, that's why sure she would be free because it's like the amount of money they charge for certain things. I'm like, bro, getting an IV, like real talk, getting an IV at the hospital, that shit like three, four hundred dollars. Think about it, you gotta have multiple IVs. Like that shit get expensive real quick. And I'm like, how do y'all even justify this shit? Like, I don't understand if this is like some cancer type medicine, AIDS-related type medicine, like some shit that 
like legitimate cancers and diseases in the medicine that could cure it, not just help the symptoms, but cure the shit. Then I can understand that being a thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars. But bro, just getting an IV drip just because a nigga dehydrated shouldn't be no three hundred dollars. Like, like, oh, what you wrong? Oh man, I, I dehydrated. I had a stomach virus. Oh, okay, well come, we'll give you some fluids and you should. Man, you threw three of them things and took. You'd be like, I would have just, I just read it with the stuck with the virus at this point. Fuck it. If they had a, see, if, they, if they had told you, if they had told you how much it cost me, yeah. fuck that. Know, let me have to Just give me a data rate, please. <laughs> give me a data rate. <laughs> yeah, hey, before we do all this, this might cost you between two thousand to ten thousand dollars do you want to do a fuck no i don't have that type yeah, of they should treat you they should do you just like you go when you take your car to the shop they should let you know what the fuck it is like all right we gotta we gotta fix your catalytic converter you need new transmission and your, your motor slip and that's gonna be about thirty five hundred dollars uh yeah i'm just gonna go on and just trade the car in fuck it <laughs> i ain't gonna pay that <laughs> it's yeah. the same thing they should just like this all right mr cole well you got high blood pressure your stomach about to fall out your ass, and you got some, you got fluid on the brain. All in total, this is gonna be two hundred thousand dollars. Well, it's been fun while it lasts, there, but just come to my funeral and just say, "Yeah, I love a nigga," because this this price is gonna kill me. Yes, yes, I can't I can't live with this shit continuously. I'm gonna regret it, and I'm gonna hate myself for it every fucking day. And mom's gonna let me die. Just let me go go in peace. But hey, some people are okay but with. It. I got a friend that. Hey, I got a friend. I got a friend that he dumb as hell. I love him deaf. He like a brother to me. He dumb as hell. He went to a school that cost him one hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year. That motherfucker was in school for five years. Wow. What? <laughs> the fuck? I'm gonna do up a little bit. Like a hundred, a hundred for one semester. That be you mean half of a semester? A whole a year. half of a year is sixty grand. Bruh, ain't no fucking way. Oh and my then, God. That nigga Where struggled for two years. Where the fuck did he go to school at? Where did he go to school? It, it was in California. It was in San Francisco, California. He went to a special art school, and I promise you that, that nigga, he, he, he struggled for two years to find a job. Now now he got a good paying job. Where the fuck did he go to SCAD or some shit? Is he doing movies or something? What the fuck? He, what kind of education is he getting? Right, he, they were doing models for uh, cars and stuff. So now he works for Ford. He oh. works for Ford, and they they make uh, car designs, car, car models from uh, conception all the way up to like the three D imaging of the model of the car before they actually put it into being manufactured. Yeah. So, so it, he get paid nicely now. But I'm like, nigga, that's five years of 125000 on top of the nah. interest. You couldn't pay it. So is, he, is it safe to say that this man looking at like almost $700,000 in student loan? Yeah, then for, for a second, for one, one more, period. More, more than that. More than that. And one period in time, that nigga said, you know what? I'm just going to be in school for the rest of my life, so I don't ever got to pay this until I die. <laughs> I was like, that's the dumbest. That's idea probably the only thing that's viable at this point, cause I ain't gonna lie, cause I meant shit. If he was, if he didn't get a job, boy, it was gonna be cocaine cowboys for real to get that shit paid off. Cause Lord, that, that nigga was gonna go to the military. <laughs> he was like, bro, I, my <laughs> man, fuck I all need that. to. Are uh, they gonna shoot me or are they you gonna? Better, pay? You better meet up with El Chapo. Hey, what you <laughs> say, man? Fuck off. All right, so so we on a lot of money for fucking we on a consensus that so we in a in a consensus that the second stimulus check should be at least two grand or higher, just because of just people just general lifestyle, their everyday life. Yes, okay, I agree. You know, I agree. Did you hear how much Evans? How much his damn PR bill was? That's just for him. That's just for him. <laughs> like I said, you got you like you just like literally can't get sick. Like you can. Sick is over with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Hey, at least you're li- you, you gonna- Who wants to live out the rest? Of- Who wants to live out the rest of their days eating ramen noodles and fucking loaves of bread? That's bullshit. And drinking yeah. water, shit. But you gotta do what you gotta do. But shit, how the government treat nothing? They like y'all figure it out. <laughs> That's how they treat nothing. 
Hey, hey, the government, the government, real talk during this whole coronavirus thing, they treating us like we two. They treat us like a five year old getting thrown into a motherfucking ocean, not a pool, not the twelve feet. You getting thrown in the motherfucking ocean, and they just looking at you. They're like, "You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out." Like, <laughs> bro, like speaking of which, since you just said that, shout out to my son Colin. He just he just learned how to swim over the past two weeks. He, a swimming motherfucker right now, so that's what's up. <laughs> well, Kyle, he... I, gotta, I gotta say this: twelve hundred dollars. I'm gonna tell you how to survive on twelve hundred dollars. Go to Nike.com, order some Black Air Force Ones, <laughs> get your gun shop, get you a four hundred dollar pistol, and get you a ski mask from Walmart. Every spring, about ten to fifteen dollars. Hey. <laughs> Find outside um, as well. Hey, and be real. Twelve hundred dollars. You going you you and the play, if the PS Five come out, a lot of motherfuckers right now. If they get another stimulus check for twelve hundred dollars, they gonna be debating between do I get the PS Five and some controllers and two games, or do I eat for the motherfucking month and try to pay my rent? You know, I gotta make I gotta make a choice. I gotta make a choice. It's some game. Go- <laughs> it's some silly motherfucker gonna be like, man, I can ball these niggas in live and then mad, man. I'm gonna get this. This is the best. I'm gonna get this <laughs> Nigga, you don't gonna have power, bro. How you gonna play it? You how you gonna play it? You gonna have power. Fucking um, ass. Especially if you, can, if you get the digital one, you're gonna be really assed after that jump. Now, right? now, now, look at the look at look at the look at the budget I just gave you. Now, what you need to do is you need to pull a big ass car. You have about five hundred dollars left. Now you need to go find the, your local drug dealer and rob his ass blind. That's gonna give you, a, you know, a few bands. Okay. Repeat sir. as me as necessary. You so soon? That might say find your local drug dealer. Well, if you can get away with it, I guess. But I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say get no Air Force Ones. Get you some black running Nikes. That way you got a faster chance because. You can't run. You can't haul ass in no uh, black Air Force. <laughs> that shit just to be intimidating, just to walk up on the niggas. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. He said, "Get some, get some all black, a- get some all black Asics because you want your feet to be comfortable." <laughs> <laughs> so, ass, you need you need some aerodynamic shoes to help you get away. Oh, okay. So, well, so many get motherfuckers. you some of these except in all black. Hey. <laughs> now- now this is this is suggestions. This is no actual advice. Please, motherfuckers, don't come out there saying that uh y'all heard this podcast and said that's the best selection to do, nigga. Hey, uh, hey let me go. This is the fucking real podcast. So, hey, I'm just saying, I thought about shit too. Let's no, get no, no, fuck that. <laughs> when you start, when you ride, when you ride them after you get done, you get done, when you start, when you ride them after you get done, after you pull the pistol on, say, hey, we can't be honest. Let's be fucking real, and then run off. <laughs> Hey, hey, okay. that's some, hey, that's some good. That's some good support and promo, I guess. <laughs> Watch this. They're gonna still be putting that shit in the news. Where <laughs> thirteen? Yep. Exactly. Motherfucking last words was. <laughs> he said, "If we can't be honest, let's be fucking real." Before we shot me, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> These two <laughs> <people do. laughs> You looking at the news like God. God God Say damn it, stupid, stupid as hell to listen to us. God damn it, we got the can't ass. be honest killer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got fucking stupid but, viewers. Oh man, it's oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, somebody will be like, but I got away with it though. I'm sorry, but I got away with it. Mm-mm. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, well, I said since, you know, since a lot of people still being affected by the coronavirus and then just unemployment. Okay, so a lot of people I've been seeing online, including myself, have really been inspired during this time because we're looking at like this. Okay, if you you ain't working, you got time to be creative because one thing about desperation, it, it fuels innovation and creativity. So... Right now with the coronavirus, what suggestions would you give people that's listening or watching the podcast to start a business during the quarantine? I got a few suggestions, but I just want to know what y'all think. What's what's y'all suggestion? 
Honestly, uh, if you into if you into like clothing, or really big right now is the mask, the safety of the mask. But you can do masks with designs. Masks with designs shit be fire. People want to buy it simply because of what it look like mm. compared to how well it protects you. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, if you if you really. I mean, if you got your independent contract type work going on, the women out here that can throw it back real good. <laughs> well, we gonna well, that that's we gonna that's a segue. We are gonna segue into that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just I'm married. I'm married, y'all. I'm not all, talking about. I I would I, well, I would hope not. <laughs> No, I, I want the I want the viewers and I ain't talking about me. Nah, nah. Well, but, uh, well, yeah, that's a good thing because I was thinking the same thing with the online stores creating like masks. Cause I ain't like right now the climate we in. If you can make a mask, or if you got fabric to make, like say custom mask or stuff that's catchy, that's a great way to make money. Cause I ain't gonna lie, most people I know one girl, uh, one young lady. Uh, I think her name Rika or Risha. She is, um, she's selling some masks in Memphis, and she's part of the Zeta sorority. And she got some junk that's on sale, you know, especially if you're in a fraternity, you can get you some custom masks. And I thought that was pretty dope. And then, like I said, on the average, you can sell them junk. I've been seeing a lot of people selling them for like five or ten. I just seen somebody earlier in Raleigh that was selling them for like two dollars. So that's the cheapest I've ever seen. Them. But yeah. I think that's a good one. Well, I said for me, I'm an artist since I'm an artist and graphic designer. This has been a real. I'll... What'd you say? All I'm gonna say is these bitches on OnlyFans ain't Mr. B. <laughs> they making all the damn money. Apparently, some people ain't struggling because I just, I, I'm just saying, I just seen a chick make like $20,000 in a day and she. Feel- to everybody, what was that girl's name? Uh, you know, did y'all see that? Nah, it was all over Twitter. I think everybody she blanked out the picture, she blanked out the picture with her another shit like they had, like they was new underneath. And when they got to the damn only fan section, she had on a bikini. So they, but I was like, dang, y'all pay all that money. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that, like she like some YouTube influencer mm-hmm. chick. Yeah. But that was Listen, like, it's, huh? it's, it's, it's just like a little yeah. she she a Caucasian little was, little girl or something like that? Or was, what 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 she look like? So y'all still there? Yeah, I'm still like, I think yeah, I'm gonna see I'm gonna look it up real quick. Yeah. Y'all keep talking. I'm going to look it up. I was about to say, well, that was a good segue because I was just saying, but other suggestions before the OnlyFans, I was saying okay. um, a lot of people also have been starting their cleaning services, which that's a great thing, too, because I've been seeing a lot of people here in Memphis, and I know a couple of people in Murfreesboro that are starting their cleaning services, which that's a good thing, too, because like I said, if you got a vacuum and some of the necessary cleaning supplies and products, you can charge a, a nice fee to you think about a house of business. And that's a great way to start kind of start your business. But I know with that, that's a more it's more of you labor intensive and then you also putting your health out there because you gotta be there to clean it and do that. But I was saying for me as an artist, it has been a good time for me because people want logos and stuff because they trying to start an online business. So the graphic design aspect of, you know, doing this time has been somewhat good. But, you know, definitely you want to kind of get it to where, you know, you make money. And then I was saying, too, con- con- consulting and, like, the fitness training stuff, I think that's a good thing, too, because you can sit down and do Zoom calls and educate somebody. And that's something you can probably look into doing, too, if you want to, you know, just to kind of help, you know, people learn and stuff like that or you know, whatever you're trying to get to kind of, you know, get your expertise out there to kind of help people build and make some money. I think that'd be good too. And I think I think right now probably be good for anybody that wants to go into uh uh the physical trainer mm-hmm. type business because so so many people got so much downtime. Yeah, and a lot of people are uh sitting around. If you you really are a person who's in shape. 
and you know how to keep yourself in shape before and during the process of this uh, pandemic. I, if you see somebody and they're okay with you taking your card and whatnot, start you a clientele of uh, having people to get in shape. Because a lot of people, the only thing they're doing is either eating, fucking, or going outside. Look, well, well, I'm being honest, a combination of all three sound good to me. Dude. Yeah. You can do well. You can't do too much. You can do too much eating and get big, but you can't do too too much fucking and then have a kid. But if that's the goal, then you can't do not enough. You can't get. You can do a lot more fucking if that's the case. But, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> this is the time that if you got an extra few pounds, you should be losing it. And then, like I said, if you single as a motherfucker, you ain't got nobody to fuck. You can use that energy to work out and lose some weight. Yeah. The, the chick's name was Ruby Rose. That's who it was. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Hang on, you mean the actress? I don't know what she is. I never even heard of her until like a, a like a few days ago. Oh, well, well. To okay, so that's a good segue. So with the OnlyFans thing, because that is the most online thing that's been booming, like really booming. Do y'all consider OnlyFans a business, a hustle? Or digital prostitution. Well, let me get talking. That last one. So digital, digital prostitution. So that's, that's all you. it is. You, I'm gonna tell you this, you horny bastards out there, y'all ain't <laughs> shit. I said this shit with a smile on my face. Yeah. Look at something else up. I, I just I had to clip back on and be like. I'm gonna say Tyler, you can't you can't shame you can't horny shame the motherfuckers that that want to see some ass kids, man. Yes, you can. <laughs> Pornhub, all these different, all these different sites. They got all the videos is free, and you gonna sit there and pay twenty nine ninety nine a month or whatever it is, or five ninety nine. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know, you know some prices, don't you, friend? <laughs> I, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. Because when you go, this, this is the thing. When you go on Twitter and you follow the thread, and people are like, man, we got scammed, man. She didn't even show that, man. It's the same pictures that's on her Instagram. I mean, that's your dumb ass get. Exactly what your dumb ass get you. You thought with the little head, not the big head. And now look at you. You're fifteen dollars lighter this month, ain't you? So, 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 yeah. so you say it's digital. It's digital prostitution and getting finesse. So that's man, what chicks these days. Chicks these days don't got no shame, bro. They don't got no kind of shame. I feel it's bad for the ki- for their kids, especially their sons. When they get old enough and they in the lunchroom, boy, you are talking about getting clowned. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine hey, being in my lunchroom hey, and, and my hey, mom was on OnlyFans. They would have lit my ass up. Yeah. Hey, hey. And then, I, I, I feel like for, the boys, for the boys, things are gonna be bad. For the girls, they're gonna embrace it. They're gonna they're gonna be the next generation of hoes, harlots, or however you wanna call them. Because the they <laughs> gonna they gonna grow up, they gonna grow up and they're gonna think it's normal because no, no offense. The mom had no shame in her body, and people paid. But we have always known sex sales. Yeah, but like um, I said, sex is gonna, sex is gonna be selling till the end of time. I just believe sometimes it's, it's folks out there that's supporting the IPPSs, and for anybody that's wondering what the hell IPPS is, it's supporting your independent pussy poppers. Because this is what these ladies are doing at this point. And we're going to coin that phrase. We might design a t-shirt for it. For all the ladies and men that might feel this way, support your IPPSs. That's all these people doing, Tyler. You man, can't blame I, these man, people. Fuck all I, I, can't, fuck all can't, I can't say I can't say nothing. I can't, I, I, I can't say I can't shame them for it because there have been some like, I, I like cosplay. So uh, I seen some people that they don't mind doing the cosplay, but then they got their own like mature version that is paid for. And I'm like, I debate about it every once in a while. Like, I do want to see them, but I don't want to pay, and I'm married, so I shouldn't do that. I'm just saying, but if, bro. I mean, but <laughs> if you see a bitch and dressed up as Goku with her titties out. And and busting it wide open, you might pay that Dragon Ball Z. You might pay that five ninety nine. You hear? Hello, everybody. You're like, shit. Man, everybody, 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 everybody the special guest, Mr. Conan Hercules. You got to turn it into the frame. Hey, how everybody doing? 
Yeah, that's Conan. Hey, going on? So everybody, all, bro. Again, everybody, that's Conan Hercules. Check out the Black Flower Project. And his uh, other page will be up soon, The Beach by Conan. So y'all check so, out the intro. So that, This is the man who y'all so, need to be talking to. Y'all need some music and beats. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, though. No. Hey, but to go back to the question, though, if you see the chick with the, the, the Goku dress on with the big kitty nipple, you got to gotta go on Super Saiyan, baby. I'm out, y'all. Hello, <laughs> 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 over 9,000. Over nine thousand. Nah, these niggas horny levels is over nine thousand. That's the problem. Hey, your baby hey. trucks. You so silly, baby trucks. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, like, saying, oh, man, I'm just saying, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shame them because everybody gonna get their money the best way they know how. Cause man, let's be people over here. <laughs> talking, people over here talking about, oh my god, she dressed up as trunks. She said she gonna have goats in, and they should have shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! You better, if I'm finna pay for some fusion dancing going on between the fans. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, hey, put, hey, on the, hey, put on hey, the guitar you, earrings. Hey, <laughs> do you remember that old Dragon Ball Z game on the PlayStation Two that it had the little what elf and it had all types of different fusions, mm -hmm. or just the most recent like uh, 3DS game that anybody can fuse together and make a character? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd be damned to see some of the shit that people come up with. I'd be like, you butt naked, fusion. Look, okay, let me see that. I'm finna, baby, I'm gonna be $25 short this month. I'm just saying. Hey, man. Hey. This man, this man finna be upside down. This cap, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> just, did. And he black. I'm just my saying, bad. At this point, man, you folks gonna do what they need to, especially with this whole quarantine thing. But like I said, like you said, though, in the long run, when you start seeing that people, you know, like I said, you got kids and they grow up. And then, like I said, when it comes to time, time roasting, boy, all they got to do is go on their phone. Oh, ain't that, ain't that such and such? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's going it's to get real disrespectful. It's going to get <laughs> real disrespectful. Boy, the, the hey. next 10 years going to oh. be hell for some of these boys and these girls. Exactly. Boy, and, this, and all I'm saying is. If you get twelve hundred dollars stimulus check, why the fuck is twenty five ninety nine? You God damn it, it's only the <laughs> essentials. Watching hey. watching Coo watching Coochie Keisha is not the essentials. <laughs> it's not part of the essential package. It's not. It's not. Okay. Man. Well well from the if we can't be honest, let's be fucking real podcast. Some of us we gonna support our IPPS and some of us ain't, but I, I will support uh, you know, if you're gonna be uh Mado if you finna go uh ultra impact with uh uh, uh vocal hero academia back here, you finna <laughs> go and use all your power. This is what Conan Hercules just through. Exactly. You know, <laughs> go, go ape shit. Go ape shit, man. Go <laughs> go, hey, go just, ape I, I, shit. I, I, I mean Hey, you do what you want to do. I don't. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Hey, I see some chicks making some some serious coin. Yeah, but I just feel like y'all are some dummies, man. Like, what are y'all doing? Hey, you don't invest that money instead of instead of putting your money towards horny, is put it towards some goddamn finance. Yeah, put it I, some, and, some and that's my thing is it's like you said if you like stripping and you in college, this got to have an expiration date. Like this, you got to have an expiration date. And I pray to God, like you said, put that money up and reinvest to make it make sense, cause. Last thing you want to do is be 45, still busting it wide open on OnlyFans. Like, I can get yeah. only support you so long. Hey, look at the introduction. Ethan, what to do? Hey, these folks over hey. here talk, looking like Stan's you know, dad. Uh, it, <laughs> he said Stan's dad. <laughs> yeah, from, do you remember that South Park episode? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Hey, you know who <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, and here goes a story I'm gonna share with y'all. I'm gonna share my phone screen with y'all. That I just thought this was so innovative, but at the same time, hilarious as hell. Bruh, let me, I'm gonna share it with y'all now. Can y'all see it? Not hmm? yet. Okay, now, dude. I'm gonna put it in the oven right now? No. What does it say? Would you like Damn. a side of glitter with that burger? What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen it. I've seen that. Houston, I've seen a video of in that. Houston, Texas. Only in Texas, boy. 
they got a drive through a drive through goddamn strip club. I ain't gonna even lie. This is innovative as hell. So you can get so you can get a burger and the fries and a real shake. This is absolutely amazing. Let's see. I'm trying to find the picture, but they ain't got it on here. But that shit. Oh uh, yeah, you, yeah. You seen you seen, I, I've seen it uh, as well. It's innovate. It's in real innovate because think about it. Strip clubs can't allow people inside the strip club. So yeah. so the strip club did not lose business. They have a drive through strip club, and you can get food. So their bars shut down. The strip club shut down. Yet you still have your business as Man. long as people are driving through. Do you know how fucking horny you have to? You have a that, that is an addiction. That is a goddamn addiction. If you got to go through a drive-through shake joint, yep, to eat some food, that is an addiction. That is worse than opioids. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way. You can't. That, that like, oh. that you got a fucking problem. Now I will admit, if you do that shit, you got a fucking problem. No, yeah. hands yeah. down, you have a problem. He's like, like all right. right. He's like, that's a problem. Right. This, this I'm just, I'm just supporting my local business owners. Hmm. Hey, I'm just saying you got, you got to support the IPPSs. Now, I'm just saying you ain't got to support them in the sense of you put money down, but you just like okay, if she put up a post, give her a heart, I guess. But <laughs> okay, okay, time out, time out. I, I, okay, question: How many chicks do you have to subscribe to on OnlyFans before it becomes a problem? I don't know. I don't know what like. <laughs> I've seen like <laughs> prices like range like you go on like on Twitter and you go to like some of those threads where they're talking about getting finessed and then people like start posting their prices and shit. So I've seen like all the way down like these fifty percent like five ninety nine. I've seen all the way up to like maybe like thirty bucks. Like how many chicks do you have to go look at Man, before? I've, I've seen sixty. I've seen sixty. Yep. God, now, I'm, gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I've seen even higher prices just going on just seeing stuff like real talk like. It got so bad with OnlyFans that even celebrities doing like if y'all watch Black Ink Crew of uh, Chicago, it's a tattoo artist on there. Uh, the light skinned guy with the braids, uh, Ryan Henry. I just seen some on Instagram because I follow his artwork and the stuff he do with his tattoos. He created one, and then on that, no. his price is up there. Like twelve months is like three hundred and eight dollars. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. No. Like, no, no, I'll just say this. And that's a well, dude charging that price. It's women not, that charge way more than that that I've seen on there. There's there's a thing. Not only now now only, now don't get me wrong, OnlyFans is not only for like nudity and like pornography. There are people that like that actually do like business stuff on there. So it's not yeah. just, just just for that. There's like there's I think the highest I think the person that makes the most money is a is somebody that does like exercise. They are they like they do work they do uh like exercise shows or something like that. That's yeah. I believe that's the highest paid only fans model. But like two through ninety nine is motherfucking nigga niggas. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> now like, if you like can burn it and I, exercise naked, I'm just saying. See, yeah. I've seen I've seen the one ninety nine up to the sixty dollars. The funny thing with uh as they have increased on the prices, they they try to offer some type of uh some something extra like we, I will allow for you, to, you and I, to have a, a one-on-one Snapchat together, or you can suggest a specific item, and I will, I wear it and send you pictures per month. Well, you, and it, you know and how I, horny. That's yeah, not, you gotta. You gotta that's how like, horny. Like, I'm paying for a relationship. Uh, money used panties, a hundred and fifty dollars. Why are you buying used panties? What kind of sick shit is that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that, that, oh. that that's when you's like, okay, you need a friend, you need a dog. Or hey, I think the, the 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 weirdest shit I've ever heard about was somebody on YouTube. It was a YouTuber. She was selling her bath water, and people were buying out on that shit. Like <laughs> that ain't no spending no, ten thousand dollars for Kanye era at a concert, so. I'm just saying. <laughs> what, what do you do with bath water? When you get it in the in the mail, do you open the pack and splash it? Ah, oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes. Like, what hey, the fuck? Look, like this. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. Like she, she, it was, it was a YouTuber. She was only a YouTuber. She did it for like a year and a half. Yeah. She was a YouTuber for a year. And a half. This the nastiest nigga though. Ooh, her bath. Exactly. Nasty shit. Nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, like she made she trolled Pornhub. Like this is she was so famous on YouTube about how weird she was and it was erotic weird. So she wasn't provocative, she wasn't showing nothing. So she she could monetize all of it. Then she said, you know what? If y'all want to see me do something very provocative, go to Pornhub to see me. So she announced she's gonna go to Pornhub. She went to Pornhub, didn't do nothing provocative, but her views on Pornhub was half half of what she had on YouTube. Mm. And more money. She, more money. She was beating out porn stars who's actually doing porn. She was just being herself, being weird as fuck. Yeah, now, but- I will say this. Mm. Those chicks that do like uh, foot fetish and shit like that, man, Making bank. they get paid some coin to show what they feet. <laughs> But I'm just saying, if I'm just saying, if you go only fans and you don't want to be out there in the aspect of I'm putting myself out there sexually, you do do the feet show, do the feet show, put oil and honey and whatever you they liking on your feet and do with that and clap your feet together like a seal. I, I fucking hate that, 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 shit, that shit, of shit right there. See what he was talking about earlier about supporting fan. Fuck that shit. Nah, keep your feet to yourself. That shit nasty, bro. I don't but like that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of oddball dudes out here, man. Like, I ain't gonna say that. Like, there's some women out here that's weird as shit, too. No, I love no, that, too. But I'm just saying, there are dudes that'll pay like $500 for like foot pics or like a fucking foot video of you just dropping shit on like that, fucking lotion in your feet. And, and, that, and to your question, what's your wax? Hot and wax. They and know too, it's hot. Now, now, back to your question, Tyler, what you said was too much. That's too much. Anytime you financially destitute in your family or you paying for some ridiculous shit like that, that's when it, this has gone too far. You need help, my when, friend. When you, when the credit card says OF dot da 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 <laughs> and your wife's like, what are we spending $300 a month on? What is OF? Baby, that's the that's the new air conditioning system. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? First of all, why, why are you always conditioning? questioning me? Why are you always questioning me where I'm spending our money? Hold up now. So why the fuck the air conditioning the only bill in the house that's on your credit card though? <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> God yeah, damn, I, I'm tired of this. And that's when you just that's when you get in your fucking car and leave for like six hours and Okay, so so that's the only bill you pay on a credit card. Fuck you, pay. That's the only bill you pay. On. We've no, been living that. in no place for two years, and you have never paid the goddamn. I seen that's, the bill. You didn't pay that's that bill. You, on that's the when you go go drive to Sonic and sit in the fucking uh drive through the uh the parking area and look at your OnlyFans videos while drinking yeah. a slushie. Hey, bro. Ma. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm not for the guys no more. Y'all yeah. woman. No, no. <laughs> but no. Really? I just I just think the whole thing now is just like it's crazy. It's innovative, but like you said, though, it's really like your personal belief and just how you want to be out there. Cause like you said, once you put that stuff out there, it's out there. It, well, you know something I just thought about that's kind of funny. Motherfucker spent a hundred dollars on some new pics for looking at a girl. The shit's crazy. But if you go to the liquor store, because I just Tyler, Tyler just made me think about this. If you go to the liquor store and you buy three bottles every three days in a month, how much you think you spent? Probably about the same, honestly. Yeah. But that but like I said, that's another thing of not using moderation. So like me personally, I I don't even drink like that. I might drink like uh right now my my wife bought this. It's a, it's called Kikaman Plum Wine. Um, so the thing is, I might drink once every couple weeks. Mm. I have beers in my I have beers in my mini fridge upstairs that have been in my fridge for like three months. Like I'm I'm a rare drinker, but that's because I do everything in moderation. I don't do anything outside of that, even smoking. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't smoke like seventeen times a day or something like that. Because everything you do should be in moderation. That be, that's the same thing with foods, anything. Like you should never eat steak every fucking day because it's unhealthy. If yep. you eat 
certain if you eat hot chips every day for a week, you're gonna shit red. Trust me. That is a that is a <laughs> personal experience. That's facts. I, that's <laughs> facts. So that's just anything. So you should never be spending that kind of money on anything every single day. You have a fucking problem. Yeah. Opioids. Well, any, well, any, well, any, can you eat your wife else? like that every day? Can you over? I don't know. Can you might be able to? Uh, you might fucking get sickness. <laughs> hey, not every day. <laughs> when, hey, when you go I'm to, sorry. You got a week. You got a week that you can't do it. And if you do it, you still one nasty motherfucker. You you love oh, yeah, him. We ain't talking about that now. We ain't, yeah, you doing that? <laughs> now, now, when you go to the ER, outrage. when you go to the ER like Evan, they'd be like, "Sir, have you um, have you been eating coochie every day for the last few weeks?" Uh, 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 oh, sir, it's on your breath. You have it on your breath. <laughs> and, uh, you got, and you got you got to get cut open. You got. See, you didn't brush your teeth, did you? Or she didn't clean her pussy because you gave her a UTI or she gave you a UTI, but both of y'all got oh, a UTI. <laughs> you you got coochie You got coochivitis. It's a cousin to gingivitis. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. And we're going to segue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we got to get into the bosom and the bullshit topic. So, okay, we've seen it. Now, I ain't going to make fun of him about his breakdown, but what the hell is going on with Kanye? Like, it went from, I want to run for president, and he didn't even the, the qualify, he didn't even qualify or do the necessary paperwork to run for president to his full breakdown at this rally. I'm not going to make fun of him because mental health is a, a serious topic and I don't want to you know, make that a bullshit you know, thing to laugh about, but what's going on with him? And then, okay, what the hell is up with him talking about uh, Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves? She just sent them to other white people. Now, I, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt to understand what he was trying to say because she technically didn't free anybody in the sense of paperwork, but she helped them get away from, you know, bondage, oppression, slavery, being treated unhuman. So it's like he, it's like he said something that was factual, but that was also stupid on top of it. First of all, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, yeah, like you said, health, mental health is a serious thing. It's a serious thing. It's not something to laugh about. He's he's been a, a a crazy motherfucker for the last few years. Honestly, this nigga has found Jesus, lost Jesus, found his mama, lost mama. Uh, he did lose his mama. So th- from when he lost his mama, that he lost his goddamn mind. He, he, he spiraled from that point forward. Uh, honestly, I think Kanye just Kanye <clears throat> is about staying relevant in the media at this point. Like Kanye is like he was cool with his music. He was relevant. And then eventually he started to fall off. Mm-hmm. He started to lose his mind. He started to attach himself to a crowd of people that was uh eye opener in the media and he just kind of stuck it out when Kanye said he found Jesus. Everybody was like this nigga got a whole church choir. Like, we was amazed that Kanye changed like that. And now Kanye is fucking losing his mind again. It's, it's going to be a cycle. I think Kanye just, he just wants attention. He wants attention. Like, Kanye is, he's a big-ass baby in a, in a, in a man body. I, being honest, I, I loved his music, but that nigga mental state is fucking ridiculous. I'm going to say this about Kanye. Kanye West was, like, at a point in time, my favorite artist. By mm. far, yeah. Um, I love him since his first album to so hey. late registration, college dropout, uh, graduation. I even like 808s and Heartbreaks. I had my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. After that, he even kind of fell off musically. I mean, he's had a few songs here and there, but um, I'm rocking with him. He's in and Heartbreak. I, 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 I categorize him as like he's like uh, the dumbest fucking genius I've, I've ever seen. He's a genius in the fact that, like, he can make uh, – now, don't get me wrong. His clothes are fucking trash. I would never spend the kind of money that costs his clothes. But his ideas for shoes, he has pretty good shoes, except more recently he's kind of just – I don't know what the fuck he's doing with that. But he has some pretty good shoe designs that I've seen. I'm like, oh, that's pretty dope. 
But now it's kind of like he's made his money, he's lost his money, made it back. And now it's just like when I look at Kanye, I'm like, bro, like the stuff that he says and does, like a normal person doesn't do that. It's like he has a mental breakdown like every few months to every maybe like a year. He just goes like batshit insane saying stuff that he's just like, whoa, 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 bro, like what are you doing? Yeah, like, just yeah. common sense, like you should never say the kind of stuff he was saying about his wife on social media. Come on, bro. Yeah. You can't do no shit like that. And again, that's why I said I'm not gonna knock him or say what what happened at that rally wasn't real, but he let he let out a lot of personal information that you don't wanna never let out because that's one of the things like your ch- your child is alive. And one day your child gonna have to you gonna have to answer that hard question or have a tough conversation. But I, I honestly feel like this. I love Kanye just like you did. Like like you said, one of my favorite songs off of his album, I won't say that was late registration with him and Brandy. Uh I always knew something they try to put me that what yeah, yeah, that shit got me <laughs> that was one of my favorite fucking songs. That even when that man said uh, uh, since Pac passed away, most of you niggas don't even deserve a track from me. But that song just was so, it's like, it's one of the perfect underdog songs. And to see him go for such a conscious, developed, you know, person who actually talked about some shit, to now it's just like, I don't know if he's like, like I said, in a sunken place trying to fight his way to get back to a place of clarity, but honestly, I just feel like this for the sake of your mental health. Just stop all this shit. Stop the music. Stop trying to be in the public eye. Take care of yourself because at this point, like you say, it's like seeing uh, it's like seeing your favorite wrestler, boxer, entertainer. They at they be they beyond they they prime now. At this point, it's like it's 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 heartbreaking. Yeah, the shift. Because it's like he didn't lost that hunger when it comes to the music. Because, well, like you said, the late registration, he was trying to get a point across. He was trying to let people know I can do beats and I can speak. And I'm gonna be honest, the song he did with uh, DJ Khaled and T Pain, "Go Hard." I'm gonna be honest, till this day, that's like the top tier Kanye West song for me. Because he yeah. went the fuck off on that song. He let people know that I can rap, goddamn it, and I actually got bars for your ass. But now it's like he it's like what happened? Like I understand him losing his mom because tragedy can just like an equalizer two movie, it's pain that can hurt and it's pain that alters. That's one of the things that altered his life in a way. And I think he still ain't pain got over that. And like I said, that is a tough thing to get over losing your mom, especially if that's the only family you've really been under your whole life. He needs to take time and get away from all this and focus on his mental state. That's just where I feel like, but it is sad to see him on, <clears throat> it's like he on a, a runaway train of himself, like, and it's like, I just want him to stop it. I just want him to go get help, get the necessary help he needs, and even if he don't do music no more, he'll go down in history as one of the dopest rappers of the early 2000s. And he, one of the, one of the best beat makers and one of the best, uh, one of the best for not, I'm not going to say he's a lyricist, but he was definitely one of the best beat makers and best songwriters. Yeah, he, he was a song. Yeah. So, the problem with him is, is like, he just doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. He has, I, I call it Diary of the Mouth. Yeah. He just <laughs> spews. He spews shit. And, and at a certain point, people yeah, can only take so much of your shit coming out. Facts. You know, hey, you, just like if you, you have diarrhea for three days, you're going to be dehydrated. Mm-hmm. So, at a certain <laughs> point, his... <laughs> Everything that he says, it dehydrates your brain. Like, what the fuck is wrong with Kanye? Like, he just keeps saying shit. And this is another thing. I'm going to just bring this up. Now, we have Donald Trump as a conservative president. Now, you had Kanye saying he wanted to run for president. Now, I will say this. Anybody, a lot of people that voted for Donald Trump voted for him for the wrong reasons, which I would, I bring this back to say that anybody that said, oh, yeah, I would vote for Kanye, you know how fucking stupid you got to be? He is like literally... I, you, I can't imagine having a president that's not fucking mentally stable. Like, what the fuck? And that's, how, that's what lets me know that people are fucking stupid. The average person is dumb as hell. When it comes, like, especially when it comes to celebrities, like, it's like yeah. what they say, they, they, they the trendsetters for their own small group of people or their fans, but they don't, they not the end all, the be all, end all. Uh, and then, like I just said, honestly, like you said, I don't want a celebrity 
running as a president because you already under enough public scrutiny. And not to say they don't have the intelligence, but I need to see you lead lead smaller groups and lead other stuff before I can say, okay, he might be ready to run the country. And then too is yeah, you got P Diddy, Kanye, and Jay Z all running for president. <laughs> Which one are you gonna vote for? I'm oh. voting for Jay Z because he seems to be the most mentally stable. Yeah, and exactly. then like I said, but that's the thing about Jay Z, you don't know his private life to a certain degree. Everybody else, you know they public thing. And that's the thing with politicians. Most of these politicians that run for stuff, you don't know their personal life because they ain't out there like that. So yeah, Mo, I'm probably gonna cheat pick Jay-Z I mean, because I don't know his lifestyle. The only thing I know is from what he showed. But P. Diddy, you know his drama. You know Kanye unstable. So it's just one of them things. It's like it's like you all I'm saying you is keep the worst case scenario. Diddy did send some send people to get some cheesecake like over a few hours walk away. <laughs> I'm just saying. That doesn't seem like a stable person to me. I mean, it, look at me, it, uh, all I know is the Taurus B.I.G. died under his watch. Uh, he was in a he, he was in a club and one of his artists sh- got ten years mm-hmm. while he was dating Jennifer Lopez. I'm just saying that nigga's not really that stable. Kanye yeah. West, we didn't see what he. I mean, shit, we didn't see what he didn't did. This mm-hmm. motherfucker lost his mind multiple times on, <laughs> on Twitter. He yeah. didn't lost it. I mean, he, I mean, he, yeah. he's, he's he's crazy. Now Jay Z. Now we you know he did get into it with and threw somebody through a window some years. So, you know, this is back in the nineties. You know, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> he had a pretty clean rap sheet. That's like thirty years ago. I can I can deal with that. I mean, hell, yeah, most, Trump, let's be fucking, honest. Most of the politicians got shit that they did thirty years ago. That I mean, we got funds should not talked about. Bro, we got yeah. we got poli- we got politicians fucking uh, getting getting hand jobs from guys in bathrooms and shit. Like, I mean, there's some wild shit out there. Fucking Donald Trump was fucking porn stars and paying them off. Like, oh yes, like, yeah, that's like, true. Yeah, like, yeah. Shout out I to mean, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, he said, "Oh, could you imagine Donald Trump get? Uh, God nah. damn, m- m- money can buy you some coochie, man. Let me tell you, because I, I don't. What is it? I, not the, no homo, but what the fuck is attractive about Donald Trump, bro? That, that, well, he looks fucking retarded, bro. He just be uh, leaning. Yeah. Yeah. And then too, he on some weird shit with his daughter though. Like, bro, the shit I heard him say about his daughter is like, bro, it's one of two things, and e- and either one is gross as hell on your part. It's like, bro, either you fantasize about your daughter, which is gross as hell, or you really want to bone your daughter. And that that I just like this dude is fucking ridiculous. That that man says stuff about his daughter I wouldn't say about my own wife. Like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what to say, yo. Like I said my piece about Kanye, how I feel. Yeah, but his yeah, his mental his mental state has depleted. I I'm, something that I'm more curious about when it comes to Kanye is since what happened to his mother, has he went to any doctor that diagnosed him with anything that's actually mentally going on with him? Like if he's diagnosed with something and his health is the, the huh? Yeah. I feel like uh, the other day Kim Kim said that he's bipolar and is it schizophrenic? Maybe he's schizophrenic or something like that. So I believe he has actually gone to a doctor. I think he is technically bipolar, and I believe I don't don't quote me on the schizophrenic, but I'm pretty sure he's bipolar. But I think he's also schizophrenic or something like that. So, so I believe he has. Been, I think he, I think he is on medication. If I'm not mistaken. And so it, it, so so that that's a that's a good indicator to say you know. Kanye Kanye was probably a little bit more stable when he was younger growing up, but he after that mo- mother thing, he was altered mentally. Or he this has always been an issue, yet no one has known about it, and it's came out more as he got older, independent, doing his own thing. And at this point, it's like, okay, we see Kanye in multiple aspects and his multiple personalities he decided to show us. And we like, yo, Kanye, we, we loved you from the one side of what you provided. We love you as a person, yet some of your stuff is your, it's your personal issues. Please keep it under wraps. Don't show us because we want to love you for what we loved about you. Don't yeah, show us you for your artistry. Yeah, we want to love you yeah. for your artistry. Don't, don't show us everything. for his mind, too, because like you said, he used to talk that shit for real and and we was here for it, but 
like you said, I just I think ultimately, like you said, his mom passing is just dead. And I'm being honest, as a person who's lost multiple family members, like very close family members, that shit does change you. And then, like I said, if you don't get the proper counseling or just have the time you need to be left the hell alone just to process your feelings, cry it out, pray it out, whatever, you know, if you keep that shit inside and then, you know, if you're dealing with shit like him being a celebrity, people going to scrutinize him all the time, anything he do. That's why I say he just needs to get off grid for at least a year, a couple years, and, you know, go to whatever doctor he needs to, therapist, whatever, take that time he needs to get the healing or at least start the healing process. And then if he want to come hit us with an album, if he just want to do some pre- producing and write music for other people, that's cool, too. But I just think... And, and, and that's one thing like, I've always felt like um, with celebrities on, on social media, that's one reason I've never, like, I, I could, you can scrutinize, like, we can scrutinize whoever we want through something like this, but I would never scrutinize somebody so that they could, that they would see it. I'm not going to say, Kanye, what the fuck is wrong with you? You da 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 replying to whatever he said on Twitter. He might run across that. He'd have to really search to see, like, our podcast or something like that. But I, I don't see how people can just, like, go off and call people names and stuff. You know, he's not doing, he's not hurting anybody, like, physically. Maybe he said some real jacked up stuff, which is not going to be good for him. But I don't think you should go to Kanye's Twitter and be like, "Oh, Kanye, fucking wrong. You're bipolar." Da, da, da. I don't think you should do that. I mean, that's what, what is that helping? That's just being an asshole. With that. Yeah, that don't help. Don't get me wrong. It don't get me wrong. I'm a big asshole myself. But at a certain point, hey. to a certain extent, Honestly, I know why like, you shouldn't say stuff. Yeah, this is cyberbullying. That's just that's just somebody feeling inferior that feel like they can have. Uh, power behind the keys. It's most times these people that go on to a celebrity or a normal Joe Blows page and say some rude shit. Mm-hmm. You only say it because you ain't in their face saying it. Because I bet you if you feel that Kanye is that unstable, but you want to say this shit about him, would you, stood, would you stand right in front of Kanye's face and say it? No, because they'll, be, they'll be dumbfounded by, oh, I'm in front of Kanye West and we want an autograph and some stuff, so that old Kanye ass is gonna punch me. That that yeah. if you really think he feel that way, he gonna punch me. Like, yeah. I shouldn't say this shit. <laughs> well, I just say, man, I hope Kanye really get the help he need because they say he got an album that either came out this past week, weekend, or Friday. But even if that's the case, I just hope he get the help he need and just kind of chill out because this ain't good for nobody. Because we, some of us, just feel like you either done lost it or you just stupid and. You're, like I said, you don't want to make fun of nobody, and I ain't making fun of them. I just want them to get some help because at this point, I hate to see him because, like I said, we all, like you said, we all three have loved him at one point in time and his music and just the stuff that he did, and it's just it's kind of sad to see him now where he just either not there completely or he, I just pray he ain't doing this shit for uh, Cloud or doing it to, you know, just. Exactly. I mean, i I went to Chicago to see his graduation tour. Fucking best concert I've ever been to. Yeah. But, like, and that was in 08. And now I'm looking at it now. I'm just like, damn, man, this nigga, like, I don't know, man. He's not the same, like, at all. Like, he's not who yeah. I fell in love with as an artist. Yeah. Facts. Okay. Well, I would say one more BS thing that I've seen. Another Karen has striked again. Uh, Let me see. Let me pull this up. Pretty much this um, young teenage guy working at Lowe's, a uh, young man, Kyle Sales, was wearing a Black Panther Wakanda Forever t-shirt at work at Lowe's. Now, we all know about Black Panther. Black Panther came out, what, roughly two years ago, two and a half years ago? And mm-hmm. she said that his shirt was racist. And the lady went so as far as to, to complain and then on top of that, the dude management made him go home to change the shirt. And then on top of that, the lady come back the next day trying to check on him to see if he got fired. Now, I don't call it Don Vile, but somebody should have slapped the piss out that lady. Because that at this point, it, this shit is getting too ridiculous. Because people just trying to live. I'm tired of reporting on this. I'm tired of every time I look up, it's somebody else pulling this bullshit. I'm just saying, I ain't saying be violent. But at the same time, somebody got to get some sense knocked into these motherfuckers because at this point, it don't make no sense. I yeah, just, that, that, that just sounds fucking stupid. I 
I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> how, how, do, how do you not hear about the movie Black Panther? Even if you white. Like, how do you not hear about part of the the the, the Marvel uh, universe? One of the movies that came out is not one of the biggest... Not even just like, come out, but one of the biggest selling movies of that year. Yeah. Everybody named Mama was at Black, seen Black Panther. Some people seen Black Panther more than once. I saw it three times. In the same week, so I'm yeah, like, wait I've a second. Black Panther twice. I seen Black Panther in theaters twice. Yeah, so I mean, I just, I just don't understand how you don't know nothing about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. See, the thing is, Wakanda Forever. I understand if the first thing you you saw Black Panther and you you might have thought Black Panther movement old oh, back in the day. If you real old, you know shit about movies right now. Black Panther, Black Panthers back in the day. But Wakanda Forever, like you just ignore to read the rest of the shirt. Just, so it's like, <laughs> but even if he, even if we go even that deep where they just think you know associate you know Huey uh peeing them and all that and Barry Seals, that's that's. That's still relevant. It's a T-shirt, bro. My thing is, if it's, if it don't got something, you know, relevant to hatred in the sense of kill somebody, you know, hail whoever, and all that kind of crap, bro. That is a T-shirt, bro. Leave that kid alone. He's a kid at his job. And another thing that I don't feel like Lowe's. I understand they ain't trying to have no public, you know, issue or no scandal and all that, but they should have stood behind that employee. Because he the one who working here moving all this crap around. I just went to Lowe's yesterday. And these folks should have stood behind the employee versus making him go home. Because my thing is this. If you are a person that's a mind is wired to be offended by every fucking thing, you'll go outside and say the sun too bright. It offends me. You mean God gonna blot out the sun just because your ass offended? As somebody that on the opposite end of the spectrum that does condone violence, <laughs> in, certain, in certain instances, I will say I used to work at Lowe's. I do not remember when I worked there. This was uh, this was my, this was about ten years ago. Yeah, two thousand. It's two thousand twenty. I think I worked at Lowe's in two thousand ten, two thousand nine, two thousand ten, eleven, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I don't. I don't remember what the what the policy was on T-shirts, but you do have a vest that you wear at Lowe's mm-hmm. um, that covers the majority of your shirt. So I'm trying to figure out how she would have seen all of his shirt to begin with without, like, literally looking for something. Because I, I, I highly doubt it said Black Panther will come forever right all at the top. Because the vest covers, if you can see me, it, it covers the majority of, your, of you. So from, like, here to, like, here. So it's only it's only a little bit that you'd be able to see, really. Yeah. And, and, and that's, a, feel and like, that's an excellent uh, point. Because when I went to Lowe's, they had them vests on. And you really couldn't see what's on their shirt. So I kind of feel like she's should have gotten knocked the fuck out because she doesn't know how to mind her own business. I don't even care if I saw somebody that was Caucasian wearing a kill, whatever. If they're not bothering me, yeah, you can free to wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. As long as you're not saying anything to me or threatening my family, I don't really care. I'm going to be racist. Be my guest. Just don't bother people. That's all I got to say. Don't bother people. If you're not bothering me, you're not touching me, I don't really care what you wear, what you do. Um, even when it comes to the Confederate flag, I feel like that's stupid and I I mean, I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but like, I just feel like uh, certain things we're fi- that people are fighting about right now is, is 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 glossing over the fact of the shit that we should really be worried about, like uh, you know, putting Breonna Taylor's killers to, in prison. But you know, that part I don't know, man. I feel like uh, yeah, justice for Black Breonna Lives Taylor. Man. Exactly. I yeah. feel like painting. I feel like painting Black Lives Matter. Who the fuck cares uh, on the street? That's what is that accomplishing? What laws have we passed? I'm being honest. That oh, one, no. that one person who painted the uh the yellow, the letters from yellow to black, it's like one of them things. Like they really weren't thinking when they did this. They just thought we're gonna just mess up this line. I'm like, you kind of just made that jump better though. It's better to right. see. <laughs> like, right. It's kind of dope. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I ain't gonna hey, something. You know, I usually we don't want to be on the nose about stuff, but that making it black was a good. That was a good move. Thank but, you, Rebecca. Um, but. <laughs> But back, but back on more on the topic, um, I just kind of feel like people like just need to just sit down and shut the fuck up sometimes. And, and people, a lot of people don't mind the business that pays them. And I feel like 
they should learn a lesson about minding your fucking business. And not enough people get to learn that lesson. And some people that do learn that lesson need to learn it multiple times. Some people just don't get enough ass whoopings, I feel like. I feel like if you're threatened enough with an ass kicking for doing stupid shit and not minding business, you would leave people alone. And that's the biggest problem. Enough people in this country have not gotten their ass whooped for getting in other people's business. If people were just whooping people's ass, like, oh, what the fuck? What you mean, my shirt? Wham! And that was it. The bitch would have shut the fuck up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's hey, all hey. I'm saying. And I'm not saying you should, like, beat her down, but maybe, like, a solid a solid shot to the jaw. I, I can say these it's been a lot of privileged people who grew up in an environment where not minding your damn business was not something you was told. Like you, you could do whatever you want, play wherever you want, be around whoever you want, say whatever the fuck you want to. No, we got our ass beat when we got out of line, we was in somebody exactly. else. I so you can what? Back then, like you said, when we was kids, grown folks talking and they tell you going back and you out here talking about eavesdropping, boy. You get your head beat so bad. You know, man, my son does that shit now. Yeah. My son has a problem with that shit now. I be wanting to beat his ass. I be like, you know what? Let me go get my belt. Let me solve this problem real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell, tell you if you came and start eavesdropping. No, nah, you know what? You come here. I, I saw you, so you come here because I told you not to come. Well, embarrass the fuck out of you right then and there. I'm gonna whoop your ass right now, and then let me let me ask you: Will you come back up here? No, sir. I said, okay, I understand. Minding your damn business, leaving folks alone. I agree. Yeah. I, I have to agree with Tyler like a hundred percent. Yeah, you, but but like you said, they didn't get taught that as a kid, and then some people uh get you know you know they got taught oh if you like you like saying like on some Randall shit you you get rewarded for being in other people's business, but you don't realize. You get rewarded by somebody else, but the uh, the general population ready to fuck you up. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. Like I'm telling, like I'm gonna start telling my son to bring all kind of weird shit to get his ass. Like, bring the TV here, Daddy. What? <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass with the TV. Bring the TV here. Find a way. Find a way. <laughs> He's gonna be so confused. Like that's a, that's what I'm saying. These, these, these people don't did not get enough. Butt whooping as a child, man, and a lot of people just feel like they can say and do what the fuck they want, and they're not the consequences for people. They don't have enough consequences. That's the biggest problem I've seen. Um, you had the other, the other one uh, the other day where the guy was trying to deliver food to a friend at an apartment complex, and the lady wouldn't let him in. And I was like, I feel like you should just be able to smack the shit out of her and be like, can you get the fuck out of the way? Like, yeah, and then and then the fact that she said she was gonna block her by like you own the apartment, like your name on the fucking deed. I would have, man. I would have mushed that bitch. Oh man, ooh, wee. I wouldn't even thought I would have hit her. I wouldn't have hit her, but I would have thought all this, all this, all this four hundred and almost fifty some pounds of body. Now I, I miscalculated. Four hundred and eighty body. Rikishi ass. Rikishi ass. Rikishi. Go ahead, hit her with a rakisha. Man, I would have. I would have. That's, a, that's a murder charge her. right I there. Would, <laughs> I would. I would have gone around her, grabbed the door, and pulled that motherfucker with all my might, whipping her ass back, and walked right the fuck in there, and been on about my day because. And I said, "Ma'am, I don't believe you're allowed to, lock, to block the this area." And then she tried to t- tell him he wasn't delivering food while he got food in his hand. I was exactly. like, "What part of the game is this? Yeah, what part of the game is this?" And exactly, and then and then too is like, bro, the man doing his job, like, and that's another thing. Well, I don't understand, like, you people put your life and put your asses in situations where you literally can get killed. Like that one big guy, the big black guy, and that hurt my feelings to see him because he a big dude. He was up there crying. He just trying to deliver furniture, but these folks got him blocked in. And I'm thinking to myself, big bro, you got the power. You in a Mack truck. A Mack truck gonna destroy anything he hit. You ain't gotta do worry about too much of nothing. Even if he pushed their car out the way, at that point they gotta get out your way. Versus you sitting up there taking this mental abuse and just this racial tirade. And, and it's like, bro, it's got like I said, it's gotta be boundaries and consequences. Meaning, but, you cross that line, and I'm telling you, ma'am. Sir, you don't want to do this because I'm the right one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be polite. You want to be rude? I'm gonna give you as much rudeness as you can. Like have. I said, I'm gonna treat you like one. I'm gonna give you one warning, and then I'm on your ass. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not 
14, 12, 16. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not finna be treated like a fucking child. And if you wanna if you wanna go there, we can go there. Yep. I, I'm not saying I'm just out here to assault people, but you're not finna fucking try to get over on me and act like you own me or some shit. Right. I'll be jazz. I'm not finna play. <laughs> I'm not finna just sit up here and play with motherfuckers. You wanna, you wanna do like dumb shit? We can do I'll some dumb shit. Oh, we can jump into some dumb shit. Okay. I can act dumb too, goddammit. Let me put this phone down for and not record this shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell them when the police get your ass fell <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, but see, that's our two. Yeah, we get two. We record, and which recording is good because that's that evidence we need. But at the same time, if you got a friend there, hey, hold this. I right, get out of my face, sir. No, what are you gonna do? And they push you. Once they push you, that's all. The, that's all the green lights you need. Cause, oh, because it was another video I seen where these white guys was jumping this black guy and tore up this dude car. Boy, I'm talking about dude ran this fat white guy. Oh, he ran him over dude ass skid across <laughs> the parking lot of Crow was well, his whole back and head was lit up. And then the lo- the folks was out there said, Oh my god. One lady said, Oh, he's bleeding. I was like, but he okay. But he was the aggressor. He had a baton busting out this dude car. I'm talking about. I would have fucked him up too. Windows, yeah. passenger window. And my thing is that people outraged. Oh my God, he ran. Oh, well, we y'all just didn't see he had a baton busting this man glass in his face. Bro, that dude, kind of shit be pissing me off. I'll be looking at, I'll be like, wait a minute. So you didn't want to say, oh my God, until his ass got the consequences that he fucking deserved. Exactly. If he had to set his ass that, you know what this reminded me of? Remember that time you were on my car at, at, at University of Memphis? We talking about that off. We talking about that after after the show, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's a, that's something else we'll talk about. <laughs> I see you later on today. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if somebody okay, busts out my windows, question. I'm busting out your ass. Like I, you got to pay, player. You gonna pay? You gonna pay one way or another? My yeah. blood or with money or both is far I'm concerned. Man, for real, I seen that and then they was just like they was like, oh my god, and he drove out the scene. But I'm talking about bro, the dude had a police baton like the ones you pull and it click yeah. and it shoot up. Yeah, bro, he bust out all his windows with the exception of his back windshield and his windshield with you know his front windshield. Right, all mm-hmm. his windows in his cars gone, and he, and he didn't think he was gonna get hit. With the exactly. car, exactly. Then not only just that, the other part of the video, it, he was getting jumped by like it was like four white guys, like the fat white guy who had the baton was busting out his window. He had like three other guys trying to jump on him too, and the dude got in his car and trying to pull off the lead, and they trying to bust his car and trying to get him. But the big dude, he was the boldest one, and he the one who got the worst of it. But like I said, man, I might I might have hopped back out the car and kick him a few more times. <laughs> but, I, but I but let's be let's be honest. I bet you he learned that lesson. He'll never do that again. I and mean, I've seen some videos. I've seen, videos. I seen uh, the white guy trying to hit hit that lady. I, I don't know if they're the DMV or what. Did y'all see that video? Oh uh, yeah, he tried to fight that black lady DM in there. And that, and that dude boy. came up and knocked his ass out. And then someone. You know them. Uh, you know, like at the movie theater, they have like the little thing that that uh, keeps you in line. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about the little mm-hmm. pole. Somebody yeah. fucking threw a pole and hit that man in the mouth and knocked all his fucking front teeth out. Oh. He was sitting there bleeding. He and his girlfriend had walked to the and went to the car. And I was yeah. like, damn! All you had to do was shut the fuck up. And now just- <laughs> All you and then, and I was just all, all, you had, all he had to do was walk with his girlfriend and walk out the DMV. He gonna go over there and push that black lady. And when I say that dude got on his ass, boy, that boy got on his ass so bad. Dude tried to shake the man hand after the ass. Whip. You know you got your ass whooped bad when you trying to shake the hand of the person who whooped your ass. Hey, no, he said he called Tom out. He said <laughs> Tom out. Don't give me no more Tom out. Tom out. He, he, he. I was like, bro. Wow. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Time out. You uh, shake your hand. No, like no, no, ain't no timeouts. Ain't no time. You all out of timeouts. You Chris Webber. You all out of timeouts. <laughs> bruh. Yeah, I seen that. That was that was funny as hell. Like I was like, bruh. And the fact that they got into an argument just talking crazy, but then the moment he pushed that black woman, it's like, oh, so you gonna really and then the thing is the kicking part that I love was the fact that. The dude who went for her defense, that wasn't even her man or boyfriend. That was just a that black man. Random dude, exactly. And, and I feel like anybody he was supposed to defend. Do. 
He did what he was supposed to do. I'm not going to sit there and let some woman get, get beat on like that. Yeah, of course. And he, even he, even when it's us, we shouldn't be standing by seeing another black man beat on a black woman and vice versa. But yeah, but he can exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah, now, now, like now, 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 let it have been. Now, let it have been my wife. I, ain't no stopping. <laughs> it wouldn't even have been no stopping. I would be um, into the white man. I ain't gonna even lie though. If that would have been Britney. It would have been a whole different story. Y'all gonna have to. We gonna do my podcast from jail because I'm probably finna get a, about attempted murder charge. Cause I'm popping a nigga in the knee, breaking his leg, beating you him. Saw, you saw. <laughs> if you saw the end of the video, somebody <laughs> threw that through the bottom of the bottom. That's all metal. It hit him straight in the mouth and knocked all his front teeth out, and blood just started pouring out of his mouth. And I was like, "Damn!" All I know, he was sitting there after that happened. I know he was like, "Damn! I should have just walked to the car, man. Away. Why did I do this? <laughs> all my teeth is out. I'm about to pay all this money, man. I got whooped on camera. I'm about to get fired. Whooped on camera." And then begged, and then tried to shake the hand of a person who took that. That alone, right there, just kill your manhood for the rest of your life. You can't never be a tough guy. You can't even say tough guy words. You can't say I'm gonna whoop your ass. No, you're not. No, you're not. Now I'm like, dang, his. I, if it, I'm, I'd be surprised if this girl didn't break up with him. Cause then I'd be sitting there like, damn, man. Cause every time you get in an argument, you didn't whoop on that dude like that. <laughs> it's the instant ego killer. Well, you didn't. I'm a cop. I got him on speed now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you talking crazy. Well, you need to shut up. Well, I'm going to call Tyrone. You want to <laughs> right. <call> Tyrone? <laughs> no, no, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can't take this abuse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, let's get into Let's get into our recommendations and also to, uh, uh, to celebrate black businesses. So, Recommendation again for everybody that's listening and watching on YouTube. Again, check out my brother Tyler. Check out the Three Bearded Kings podcast. Again, they always dropping real gems and stuff to live by. They a little they ain't as foolish as we is over on this end. I don't know. I'm still debating. I think y'all gonna cut loose one of these days. Y'all gonna have an episode. Oh, oh don't think. worry. I can get into we can get into some gangster shit now. Don't <laughs> don't, don't don't tip me now. I, we, okay, we I got you. I got you. <laughs> I say right. some wild shit, but I don't. I, hey, they try and censor me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason why you love it over here. He's like, he cut loose, like, hey, I ain't gonna censor you. Let's go for it. <laughs> nah, we say whatever we want. That's the beauty of it. That's why I've always wanted my own podcast. I can say whatever I want. Thanks. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Also, yeah, y'all make sure y'all check out. Uh, uh, Stop the Madness with Callie Ray. Again, that's another beautiful black woman that's speaking her mind, her truth. Y'all go support her, listen to her as well. Again, y'all saying my special guest earlier heard them. Check out Conan Hercules, the Black Flower Project. And also, if you're listening to the podcast, the intro or the outro, the new beat, he just, he did the beats uh, for the new intro. So if you're looking for beats, check out the Instagram, uh, Beats by Conan. That way you can reach out to him directly and get some beats. Uh, and music, and also since we were talking about Kanye West and mental health, you know, again, not to make fun of it, but a, re- a listening recommendation that is a very powerful song, and a lot of people might not be aware of this artist is Royce the Five Nine. This is off of his album, The Book of Ryan, Strong Friend. And if you got anybody in your your family, friends, or whoever you feel is the strong friend that you go to or talk to about your problems. Go and check up on them because that's one thing he classified in the song is that the strong friend is the one that everybody go to, but the strong friend ain't got nobody that they can talk to. So check up on your strong friends because mental health is serious. You know, people might be suffering in silence and the last thing you want to do is not tell a person you dare for them or listen to them. And, you know, you get that unfortunate call or that unfortunate text. So that's definitely a good song to listen to and recommend that recommend that for everybody. Uh fellas, what y'all y'all got any recommendations? Like I said earlier, I recommend y'all mind y'all damn business before you end up like some of these fools getting knocked the fuck out and being uh, and being stars in the wrong kind of way. Sit your ass on uh, down somewhere now. Okay, that's a good recommendation. I'm with Tyler. I'm I'm Man, mind your own damn business unless you are supporting the, the pussy poppers. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, and shout out to all the IPPSs. We support yeah. and well, these men. We don't we can't 
us. We can't support y'all officially, but we support the independent yeah. pussy poppers. A shirt will probably be coming out for all the ladies and men that that do do it and support it. We might have it. I admit, I admit, hey, I thrown fifty dollars for one month and canceled the subscription afterwards. I told, I don't want no, I don't send me nothing. Don't send me nothing. <laughs> hey, I, I ain't you gonna don't lie. I ain't gonna lie. If, if some of them women was like that women that time we had went to the strip club, we definitely don't want to do like, no, ma'am, stop here, take my money, take my money. I want to leave. I want to get out of here. So, so you gonna just throw that one out there? Big hey, hey, gonna... we we might talk about that one episode, but nigga, I'm being I'm a big dude. People think oh he big, he got this big personality. I'm a complete bitch when it comes to being in the strip club. I'm like, no, I don't like this. No, they touching on me. No, what are you doing? Take the money. Take the money. <laughs> come uh, on, nah. boy. Then yeah, we're we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna talk about that one. Wrestling. Just don't come home and tell Brittany that baby, we ain't got money for rent. <laughs> Didn't go right. Uh, hey, uh, hey, if I gotta tell her that, at least I know I got somebody couch I can sleep on. But like, hey, uh, can I? <laughs> I gotta get. Them. Oh shit! If I was with you, uh, I'm in the same <laughs> boat as you, my nigga. I, I, I gotta, <laughs> hey, I got a couch, bro. I got a couch, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I need somewhere to stay. <laughs> The best uh, thing a man, I will, oh, here's the recommendation. The best thing a man can do is have a very, very comfortable couch. Because if he has to get kicked out of the bedroom, <laughs> hey, you better, you don't want your back. Up. Hey, <laughs> that's a good my chair. Hey, my chair can extend out and shit, bro. I'm going to pull up bit right here. Kick them legs up. Lean back. You, hey, but you still vulnerable. Uh, you still vulnerable, Evan, because she could come and push that motherfucker up and then you go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, who cares? You already fucked up, man. You already fucked up, man. Yeah, but y'all want to be fucked up and injured. That's just that's just adding to your troubles. <laughs> Got a broken bone. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to push me out the chair, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got. I got no recommendations, no more. All right. Well, we gonna well we gonna recommend when you get start your YouTube game and channel. We gonna shout you out and support you. So we gonna look out All for right. that. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, that 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 should be coming by the end of this month. Really, I just want to throw that out there. I got all the equipment. I got the HP uh computer coming tomorrow, so I got to put the software on it, and uh just throw out the theme. Uh, like you see in the background, I might be silly. I put my mind out on this, but my my theme all gonna be about anime slash video game genre. You know, oh, come yeah. here. Yeah, just talk. Let's talk it up. Let's talk about the shows. Let's talk about if y'all if you don't beat them motherfuckers talking about hentai. Don't come to me talk about some motherfucking hentai. <laughs> okay, that might get thrown on the first episode. You, I'm just giving a full warning because we all done been there. Like you didn't accidentally <laughs> ran up on some Dragon Ball Z Inuyasha you thought was the official shit, and then you like, wait a minute, what? Let you me thought tell you, Sailor, Sailor Moon gets down, baby. <laughs> hey, when, when you thought XXX meant extreme because you seen the black Goku pictures, but then you realized oh, it does not mean. All right. <laughs> okay. On that note, we're going to have to close out with us uh, <laughs> black businesses. Let's keep it, let's keep it classy, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another recommendation, too, if you got kids and you want them to kind of see, you know, animation and black history in the form of cartoons or books. So check out Black Sand Entertainment. They got some stuff on YouTube as well. He got some dope artwork, great books, and they even got like a motion comic DVD that you can purchase. But, you know, just going back to animation and black excellence and also showing black culture is very dope. I definitely encourage anybody to check it out, especially if you got kids and you want to show them something a little bit different that they might not be seeing on TV. Check out that, and also you know just supporting and shouting out some black businesses and just people doing well. Uh, Want to shout out to Mr. Brandon Taylor. He has the I Am Sir Mountable Smart Home and IT. His business he does the TV mounting and put up cameras. Uh, I'm currently here in my mom's home, so I'm gonna be looking into getting that done for her. And uh, also another thing, shout out to uh, founder Lex uh, Had It. 
he has the a uh, Bluetooth audio, so it's like a black audible company that has like black audio books. That was something that actually me and Brittany were talking about, and I looked it up and saw it, and I thought that was so dope. Y'all go check out that. Uh, all this information will be in the link um, for the show notes and also on the YouTube page where y'all can click the links and then go from there. But that's pretty much it for tonight, for today's episode, brothers. I love y'all. And shoot, I'll be chopping up with y'all in a second. Everybody else, thank you again for tuning in to another episode. If we can't be honest, let's be fucking real podcast. Y'all have a good week, and we'll see y'all next week. And we out. Peace. Special beam cannon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>